I'm Lily from Oregon. My question is, I keep making the same mistake over and over again. How can I be forgiven by the Savior when I don't keep my promises? So cute. I love that question. I so love that Emily question. from Oregon. But no, none of the rest of us have ever had that experience. Right, right? Yeah. Right. yeah. And the truth of the matter is, this is not just Lily has that experience. We all have that. I have that experience yeah. too. Where it's, you know, I've I've made a change. I wanted to be reconciled. I wanted to repent. And then I make the same mistake again. Yeah. And I think, how is this possible? And then how is it possible the Savior could say, it's okay. I'll welcome you back. But it is endless, his mercy towards us. And that reconciliation, we can't think of it as a one-time event. We really can't. We have to think of it as a, an iterative, continuous process where we continue to reconcile ourselves to God, continue to come back and feel of that love. And I would say, you know, we hear this from prophets and apostles all the time, particularly I think of uh, uh, Elder Holland who often says, do not give up, never give up, never give up. Keep going, mm -hmm. keep going, keep standing up, brushing yourself off and keep going. I do think we worry at times that, oh, well, if, if I've said I want to change and then I haven't changed, now I'm a hypocrite. Now <laughs> I've deceived God. And, and I like, think- no, now you're normal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, now you're human. And this is the beauty of understanding the atonement of Christ in, in its personal nature that he actually understands the wounds and the challenges and our weaknesses, then he will keep coming back to you and you keep, you stay in the game. Yeah. You keep coming right. back to him. And, and yes, you want it to be honest. You want it to be real. And you just keep getting up, dusting yourself off, and he will be right there walking beside you, helping you to heal, helping you to recover, and helping you to move forward.